Okay, let's read about buildings because we're gonna need to pimp out our base soon and we need to know what the heck we're doing or I should rather say what the heck these buildings do okay so you got on in the Xenopedia here base structures you got a medical center which I have already built one I think so the medical center structure provides Xenonauts with state-of-the-art medical care for any injuries they sustain in battle half halving due the recovery times of any injuries inflicted on your soldiers. Building additional medical centers beyond the first has no extra effect on healing speed. Interesting. So we need just one medical center. Radar array. Radar array structures allow the base to detect extraterrestrial UFOs. The detection radius of the base is shown as a blue circle on the geoscape. Any UFOs that enter this circle will be detected almost immediately irrespective of distance from the facility. The radar range of a base can be expanded by constructing additional radar, radar rays, arrays. However, this will only apply three times, i.e. there is no point building a fourth radar array. Huh, that's interesting. So I might want to build some extra radar arrays but I think later on in the game, not right now. Then we got the hangar. Each hangar will house a single interceptor or dropship. A free hangar bay is necessary before you are able to purchase or construct an additional aircraft. These structures are quick to construct and have relatively low upkeep, but the aircraft they house do not. Decommission any unnecessary aircraft quickly. Okay, living quarters provide housing for up to 35 personnel, either soldiers, scientists or engineers. Any combination of the three personnel types can be housed in the same structure. Living space and any appropriate workspace must be in place before new staff can be hired. So ensure your bases have enough living quarters to accommodate your expansion plans. Then we got the storeroom of a base houses, houses all manufactured or recovered equipment at the base. This is not required for items that are available in unlimited quantities, so aircraft weapons or ammunition or ballistic weapons for your soldiers will still be available without a storeroom. However, the base cannot receive any manufactured soldier weapons or armor until it has storage space for them, nor collect any alenium or alien alloys. Alenium? Isn't that like... what was it called? Illyrium? Yeah, it should be called Illyrium, right? Yes, they call it Alenium in this game. Okay, a single storeroom is capable of holding an unlimited quantity of items. Okay, so we just need one storeroom. <coughs> Laborato lab laboratory, laboratory, which I already have two of them. Allow a base to conduct research. Each laboratory will house up to 15 si scientists who require both living space and laboratory space to be available before they can be recruited. Research is networked across different bases, so multiple scientists working on the same project from different bases are just as effective as if they were housed in the same facility. Research performed in a laboratory suffers diminishing returns, the first scientist on project works at 100% efficiency, the second at 99%, third at 98% and so forth. Finally, as laboratories are expensive and have unusually high maintenance costs, consider your finances carefully before constructing one. Workshops allow a base to construct aircraft, vehicles and battlefield equipment. Each workshop will house up to 15 engineers who require both living space and workshop space to be available before they can be recruited. Unlike laboratories, workshops are not networked. Engineers in different bases cannot collaborate on projects. Okay, so that's, that's an interesting thing. And since they can house up to 15 engineers, can have one project you can have uh, up to 15 engineers working on one project at any given time so that might be problematic in some instances okay let's see what we got here engineers suffer diminishing returns so just like the laboratory 100% then for the next one 99% for the next one 98% and so forth have initially okay same thing and the garage, as the name implies, the garage houses any Xenonaut vehicles stationed at the base. Each garage will hold up to three vehicles and a free 
garage slot is required before construction can even begin on ground vehicles. Yeah. So this is what I was was building earlier. So I need so one garage can hold up to three vehicles. Okay, good to know. Oh, defense battery. The defense battery is a point defense structure that provides your base with protection against UFOs. In the event that your base is attacked by enemy forces, your defense batteries will each take a shot at the attacking craft with a 6% hit chance before the ground assault begins. Several defense batteries may be able to destroy an attacking UFO before it lands, averting the attack completely, but inflicting any damage on the UFO at all at all will reduce the size of the alien ground forces appropriately to a minimum of 50%. 50%? That sounds like a lot. These batteries upgrade automatically as you research more advanced weapon technology so it will not become obsolete over time. These batteries upgrade so it so initially they have 60% hit chance but it doesn't tell me when I upgrade them. I guess it will increase their hit chance as well not only their damage. So now we can also okay. So I don't think I'm gonna need that yet. So let's take a look at our base. So we got a hangar here. This is this is the the hangar for the for the what's it called for the Sky Ranger. But this in this game is called something different. Whatever. We got our two jet fighters and we got another hangar here. Which we're not using, and we're paying an upkeep of 6k. So we should probably sell this or demolish rather. Okay, does it actually give me my money back? Yes, I do get some money back. How much does it cost? A hangar, so, so I get half back, so that's pretty nice. And we got living quarters. And this is living quarters as well. We got a laboratory. This should be another laboratory. Yep. So two laboratories. This is a workshop. This is the command center. Okay. Living quarters. Living quarters. This is the storeroom. This should be the medical center. The the radar array. What's this? This is a garage. Okay. Radar array. So I don't want to build this yet. Hangar. I'm already building one. Uh, actually a garage right so I have three hangers living quarters I have let's see personally 37 out of 70 so I don't think I need more <coughs> storeroom already have it and that's all I need I'm gonna have two laboratories and I think that that will be enough workshop I might need another workshop I'm gonna have to think about this I'll keep 25k Let's see first what else we got. Medical center, garage, missile, battery. Okay. okay, let's see about the workshop. So, this is the science. I'm working on plasma rifle and interceptor. And I can do a hunter scout car. There are no free garage slots. So, I'll hold on on to building the second workshop because I can't build anything right now. <clears throat> soldiers unassigned. I think I need to assign some more soldiers to Charlie One. Or maybe let's see, three, six. Seven. I guess no, because this guy is gonna come back. Okay, but we have four in reserve. Maybe I should hire a few more. Let's hire three more. Bravery, what do I need? Probably bravery. Let's get who else? This guy maybe? Turn units, very low turn units. Bravery, let's get this guy. 50 bravery and this guy. Are right, those three and we should be set. Have some alien alloys. Then this, we're not gonna bother with it yet. Either this. So let's. Let's. Uh, progress to the game a little bit more. Construction of medical center has been completed. Nice. <clears throat> Following items. <laughs> 
three soldiers. Yeah, they might want to change that text there. Okay, let's progress some more. Three UFO sightings. UFO spotted. Local farmers, local forces awaiting. Let's small UFO. Let's intercept. How do I how do I send multiple? Oh, I see. There we go. But I don't need multiple multiple jet fighters, so I'm just gonna send this one. Okay, it's on route. Scramble the interceptor. UFO has disappeared. Currently on interception course. Go to last known location, sure. It probably landed. Condor returning to base, okay. UFO detected. Okay, intercept with the other one. Let's hope we get it this time. And contact. 1% victory. Whoa, UFO intercepted the scout. That's all the info we're getting. Tail target. I wanna engage it, heck it, fuck it. And I wanna, s I wanna learn how this works. Okay, so we got afterburner provides a 50% increase in aircraft top speed when active. This comes at the cost of three times fuel consumption. Okay, we don't really want that. Health. Evasive roll. Orders an interceptor to perform a lateral evasive roll useful for dodging incoming projectile. This has a fuel cost and a cooldown, so should be used tactically. Try pausing combat to time your rolls perfectly. Not all interceptors are capable of performing the evasive roll maneuver. And retreat. Orders the interceptors to. The interceptor to disengage from combat and head to the closest edge of the combat zone and attempt to escape the battle. The craft will auto fire cannons at any hostile unit that enters its fire arcs but will not use its missiles. Retreat can be cancelled by issuing new orders to the retreating interceptor unless it, unless it is an, in an enforced retreat caused by running out of fuel. Interesting. Auto cannon. Um, Guessing green means they're gonna use all three of them. That's how you select them. That's the UFO. Then I can plot a course. Okay, let's press space to resume. Let's see how this is going to work. Let's try and dodge something. And here they are. Come. Pretty big UFO. Let's wait. And am I doing anything? Low fuel, no ammo. Well, I guess we're gonna retreat. Um, you're taking the wrong way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what an idiot. Should have manually done it. Okay, so what happens now? Where do I see the aircraft? This one, health zero. So it's gonna get repaired. So we don't really lose it. We're just gonna get it like with zero HP and it recovers after a while. But man, we took a big hit on that one. Small south. But there was no indication on the type of this UFO. That was a pretty dick move of the of the computer AI. Construction of garage, yes, go to base. And let's build us a vehicle, counter scout car. 40 man days. We may commence project and put everyone to work. Finish time four days. Oh, that's 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 great. Okay, 
that's another UFO. Problem is I have nothing to to intercept with. So maybe I needed that third aircraft in, in fact. We're gonna have to let it slip for a while. This is the big UFO. And another UFO detected. And our interceptor is ready. Retrieving in 66 hours. <clears throat> oh, so they have to retrieve it first. Then start repair, I guess. So it's gonna take a long ass time for that to, to come back. Okay, let's move on an interception course here. And I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. However, we do have 100% 100% victory here, but I'm still gonna engage it and maybe do some evasive rolls. I don't know, that's pretty much all I can do. Auto resolves this seems so much better. <laughs> um, crash site, airstrike. Could just destroy the crash site, huh? Along with all the aliens. But I'm guessing we should intercept it. And in fact, let's wait some time because it's nice time. I've learned my lesson after that first that first night that first mission during the night okay let's send Charlie 1 um, but first we need to see if we if we got all, all the soldiers present here unassigned Charlie 1 3 okay that should do it alrighty then Let's intercept and launch and engage. And time to rock and roll, baby. Okay, we got our shoddy guy, got a sniper. Looks like we are right in the corner. Okay, so we need to we need to go northwest. So let's get this guy out here. Ooh, so we landed in some military area. This is nice. There's a car too. Okay, everything clear. Let's get everyone into positions. Oh, I can exit this way too, nice. Get him out here. Okay. And let's get everyone outside. There's a civilian there, or a, a policeman. Looks like a policeman. Nice. Okay, move out. And I'm gonna try and um, support the policeman. I'm gonna move everyone this way. And it's probably better as a rule of thumb to just stick together with all your dudes. Unless you want them horribly murdered. At least that I know for sure. Okay, we don't know where that guy shot from. And the policeman didn't seem to care about anything, so that should indicate that there is there is no alien present in the vicinity. So we are free to move to what's it called? To sprint up, I guess. 
you, yeah, kind of can't really think of the, the proper term right now. So they're shooting from that side, huh? Hmm. This is interesting. Maybe I can. Uh, I can ambush them from another side. So this guy is taking cover here. Now the UFO is here, in fact. But this time I'm gonna actually try and kill all the aliens because I think I'm gonna get more XP that way. Because if I just capture the the UFO, I'm gonna win the mission, but the other aliens will stay alive, which is quite strange to me. I don't understand why I would why would we let them leave in the first place? I mean, surely we would do something about it. Ooh. That's a lot of shooting. This is a bit worrying. Might get shot at here. However, there is some cover here. Okay, let's crouch. Let's try bringing everyone here. There we go. Bring some of these guys here to watch our backs. Make sure no chrysalids are coming or <laughs> some weird ass stuff like that. Chrysalids are a no-no. Okay, and turn. And there wasn't as much shooting as before, so that that might tell me that the cops are dead. Okay, let's move little by little. Still no contact. Oh, there is a civilian. Okay. And let's bring them all in here. Oh, there's a door there, right? So let's see if I can make something happen here. The sniper should probably stay in the back get the heavy gun guy in the front got some shotgun dudes the assault rifle guy put him maybe around here okay and turn whoa 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 what's that is that a muton what is that thing Oh boy. I'm not liking this at all. Okay, assault rifle Gudet. Do I just try to bomb rush him? I guess so. What else can I do? I can try and take cover in the building. And then what? Shoot him from there maybe? Not really sure. However, I do have two assault rifle guys, and I have the sniper. I think I should take take the chance. Um, I can't really see. I need to. How do I? No, 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 no. God damn it! I forgot. How do I? I turn the camera. Forgot how to turn the camera. God damn it! Or if it or if it is even possible, it should be right. God damn it! What am I 
doing. Can I not? Okay, I guess that works. Not as planned, but sure. How many time units do I have? 34? Oh, I can shoot a 59%. Sure, let's let's take it. <laughs> Missed. That sucks. And let's do a 64% maybe. 26 time units. Then I can do maybe a 40% that. <laughs> Nice, nice, very nice. And a 40%. Nice! This trick is really good. Now, if I could try my luck with the sniper. Let's see how I can get in range, maybe like that. I need to get closer. 32 time units. Yeah, this is gonna be enough. Okay, I got a clear shot. 88%. Come on, sniper. Come on, sniper. Headshot him. Headshot him. <laughs> Missed. Are you kidding me? 88%. You're a disgrace to the uniform. And to the sniper rank. Got some more assault rifle dudes. Now what can I do with the shotgun guy? Not much apparently. And I should probably not try to push my luck. Gotta move in with the assault rifle. Ooh, this guy has a lot of time units. Let's move in here shoot at a 64% suppressed good 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 stuff and I'm gonna need to move a little bit farther away so I can clear a shot for this guy and let's do a 48% should I do 317% Decisions, decisions. Let's do the 48%. And that's a miss. So let's move this guy here, crouch him. Let's move this guy here and crouch him, or maybe not. That works just fine as well. Let's try and move here. And we have a 13% hit chance. Why not? And that's a miss. Okay, we got. Let's open this door. Should I try my luck with this guy as well? No, I should not. Or actually, should go here. And I got a 10% hit chance. Sure, why not? And can I crouch? Nope. Let's crouch that guy. And let's hope we don't die. And that's a straight headshot. Damn. Is she dead? She probably is. Let's try our luck with the sniper again. 88% and he misses again are you kidding me such incompetence level I have never now who has the medkit this this chick has a medkit this guy has a medkit as well so screw it let's try with this this chick shoot him in the face suppressed Let's move in with the shotty. 36%! Wow, that's all. Let's move a little bit closer. 
Nice. Let's check the status of this guy here. And that's a corpse. So he's pretty much dead. That's a shame. We can go upstairs too. So let's try and secure the area here. Let's move in with this chick. No, oh, not enough time units. So it appears to be clear. So let's move in. Crouch, nope. And Hey! <laughs> Oh god. That did that did not just happen.